So in this video, I'm going to talk about sand through. So sand through is where the, um, the material has been sanded through, hence the name sand through, um, in, uh, when they're preparing it for, you know, for paint or you know, other sort of you know, preparation. So they'll, they sand, the, you know, typically they'll sand the bike um, to remove any flash from the from the mold from the tooling, you know, by flash I mean, um, you know, where there's joins in the tool. So you know, it might be a multi-piece tool, and you've got you've got an edge, um, and resin will flow into that uh, into that tiny little gap, and um, and, and basically create a little edge, and then um, obviously you need that for a smooth surface. You need that sanded off. So I'll go through some of the examples um, and do a, a PowerPoint slide and, um, and I'll show you something about some of this stuff. But um, as you can imagine, it's, uh, it's less than ideal, like the shirt. Um, and uh, it's a lot more common than you think. And um, if a bike is is painted with a solid color obviously you don't see that however often um, you'll get a crack appearing um, over a period of time along the edge and I'll, I'll, I'll discuss that in some of these examples anyway so have a look at this uh, these examples and um, yeah and learn about sand through so the first example is a steerer. So you can see in you know, this area here, there was actually a void in the laminate. And when they sanded it um, to get it all round, so it was obviously quite lumpy, um, they removed a lot of material. And so you, know, you can see the void there, other areas through here, through here, through here as well. I'll give you some... Uh, the, of pictures from a different angle also a bit of wrinkling going on here and here etc and there um, so but the, I mean the worst of it is obviously exposing a void so you've you've sanded into a void and um, exposed the void so now any contaminants moisture oil grease etc has got a path into the laminate and um, that's definitely less than ideal looking at it that's the uh, another uh, the other side of it and uh, you know you, this whole area through here has been sanded through so you've got all these plied drop-offs all these edges um, which is you know a path for contamination and uh, and moisture etc and so things like um, like silicon oil um, is probably the worst of it. It's it can migrate into a laminate and lead to the laminate um, delaminating over time. So because it basically as a contaminant, it um, it can degrade the uh, the epoxy matrix and and lead lead to degradation. So. Any of these sort of open to edge stuff like that is um, is very ordinary. Another view, again, you know, this is the other angle of the so that avoid, um, and here as well. Like, yeah, it's this one's this is it's a really bad example. Obviously, you know, the steer is typically aren't that bad. This is a really bad one. Um, the tube must have been out of the mold so out of round that a stem wasn't going to fit on it so they they grind it down um, to a shape um, yeah less than ideal now this um, this BMC um, now this has got a really hard um, sharp corner along this edge here and you know you can see you can see the line right on the corner so when they've sanded the bike to paint it they've 
they've gone through a number of layers, a number of plies of material on that corner. Now, because it's a hard corner, that's a real stress concentration as it is. But now it's got significantly less material. So that may only be seven plies in thickness through that section. And if you've removed you know, two or three plies, that's a, that's a significant effect on the, uh, on the laminate uh, and structural properties. And so it's really common on, on these frames to, if you get the slightest little bit of knock, that you'll get a crack line running right down that edge. And um, yeah, that's super common on these ones. Here's a close up of that and you can really see this area here, um, how, how there's the, the plies have been sanded away. So now I've been to these factories um, and seen how they prepare the the bikes for paint, and it's it's typically a three inch diameter disc sander, and they just run that over over the frame. Now, typically those um, those disc sanders. If you if you stop moving it for for half a second, you can go right through that laminate. So that's how uh, that's how abrasive and aggressive those sanders are. So the um, yeah, and by having a um, a sharper corner, it it really concentrates that uh, that abrasive uh, sanding action. Again, this is the BMC. Now, it's not like I'm picking on BMC, but this is an example that I had in the workshop, which um, really shows shows this well. And um, I mean, there are plenty of other bikes with similar similar stuff, but as I said before, they're often if they're painted in a solid color, then you, you can only see that when you strip the paint off. But again, you can see you can see a number of layers all along that edge and you know we've we've seen them crack along that edge so many times and uh, again because the radius is so small you've got this sort of hard uh, hard square edge really stress concentration you've removed half the material in that area all it takes is a little bit of a uh, bit of stress and that uh, that corner pops Here's another view. And again, you can see it's it's really concentrated along along that edge, and you can see the ply the ply drops and count how many plies that um, that have been sanded through. Now, again, it's a BMC again, um, and you can see on this on the front of the C tube. All down there, they've sanded through. Now the sales, the sales reps on these bikes were promoting this as a feature. They, were, you know, they were going, "Oh, look at the cool marble pattern on these bikes." And it's like, uh, guys, that's not cool marble pattern. You've sanded through structural material. So the the real concern is that the engineering team, um, they they say. They do all this computer simulation and modeling, um, ply by ply, laminate uh, you know, schedules and all this sort of stuff. And we've optimized the laminate schedule for these bikes, you know, to be the absolute best properties for the least amount of weight and all that sort of stuff. And they'll say all that, and they may have done all that, but then it goes to the factory and the factory sand down half the plies. Um, so what's the resultant effect on the uh, on the structural properties? Well, you, you, you've got a problem. And, and you can see that it's happening in sanding because in this little step through here, you see there's no sanding at all in that, in that little groove. So that's one of the aerodynamic features as a boundary layer trip. And so, because they can't sand in there 
um, with their machine sanders, it's untouched. And and so again, you've got these sort of hard corners with material removed right at the stress concentration, and you can guess where the failure is going to happen. Again, this is on the down tube on the same bike, and again, you can see now. So this is a there's a join here where the the, the down tube is joined to the uh, to the bottom bracket lug, sort of across there, and again, so they they made the join. It's it's a it's an internal splice, and they put material over that and then sand it back. Um, to, to, to fare it in. It, again, you can see right in in the in the root of this little line here, this the molding feature. There's no material removed, and then basically right on the edges, there's quite a number of plies that have been removed in that area. So. Um, Again, I mean, you've got reinforcement on the inside and bonding, so it's probably not quite as critical. However, if it's going to fail, you know exactly where it's going to fail, and it's it's going to be right on that edge. Um, now, this is a fork. Um, this is a, a, a specialised uh, tarmac fork, which was... Uh, it's brand new, so they send them from the factory like this, as they, um, and then they get they get painted. And um, but you can see again, there's big areas of ply removal through here, and a bit of a wrinkle here that's been sanded, and all sanded through, and up at the leading edge as well. Let's go to another uh, another picture. You can see it again. So, yes. You know, so the majority on the outside ply is um, is going going that way. It's a 45 degree ply, and then it shows up that that's you know these these really dark areas. The ply angle is going a different direction. It's catching the light in a different way. So it's really obvious. Um, and it's on the inner, the inner leg as well, all through here, up through the front, up through here. And again, these are normally painted, so you wouldn't see that. And then we have a, um, this is sort of up right near the crown, where the crown joins the leg, and uh, and there's also sort of a little bit of a wrinkle and some fibre waviness going on through here as well as as the sand through on uh, on that on the edge so that's a bit of a rundown on what sand through looks like um, as you can see it's um, it's less than ideal right um, So that's uh, so. There's some examples on what sand through looks like. Um, so next time a, a salesman, a bike salesman, tries to tell you about cool marbling, maybe refer them to this video. Um, leave it at that. Any questions? Put them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.